to the World Juniors has been canceled due to the ongoing spread of COVID-19. Czechia and Russia had both forfeited their games earlier today as a result of one player on each team testing positive. This coming after the United States forfeited on Tuesday when two of their players tested positive. The forfeits ultimately led to the decision of canceling the tournament. Here's a list of the tournaments that have been canceled by the IIHF, including the remainder of the World Juniors Championship. This is also the second straight year that the International Ice Hockey Federation has canceled the under-18 Women's World Championships over COVID-19 concerns. James Duffy has more. Thank you. Back in Edmonton, this was Team Germany late this afternoon, stepping onto the ice to take a few photos, little souvenirs of the World Juniors that wasn't. James Duthie back with Bob McKenzie. And so, as we're finding in all of society, Omicron moves really, really fast. Tom Reddy said it well. An opponent that was not on the ice, but that was bigger than all of us, is what defeated this World Junior Tournament. Why did they decide to cancel it now, after just four positive tests, two on the American team, one from Team Czechia, and one from Team Russia. Well, you're right about the speed of this, and it was like a, a series of little fires that suddenly became this raging wildfire with the prospects of being very poor. And so it started with the Americans. A couple of players tested positive, cost the Americans a forfeiture uh, yesterday. Uh, then they wake up this morning, the IIHF does, and a, a Czech, uh, Czech player tests positive, and that game is forfeited. Okay, even at that point... The IIHF is saying, okay, we're, we're okay, we can stabilize this, we'll be fine. And then all of a sudden, shortly thereafter, they find out a Russian player has tested positive, and they realize the Russians have forfeited, the Czechs have forfeited, the Americans have forfeited. They bring the medical people in who say, you've got two referees who have tested positive. This is going to continue to be a problem. Each day that we are here, there are going to be more and more people because of the transmissibility of, of the, the variant that more people are going to get it. And here's the thing. A lot of people are going to say, it's only four players. You canceled the World Junior Championship. Over four players getting a, a variant of, of this virus that leaves them asymptomatic, not even feeling that badly. And the short answer to that is the protocols are the protocols, whether you like them or not, they are in place because of the provincial, federal government, as well as the IIHF. And the protocols call for one, if one player on game day tests positive, then the entire team must be shut down for at least 24 hours. And they just realized that it was something they couldn't control. And we had Luke Tardif, the president of the IIHF here, and he basically said, I'd rather pull the plug on it now than be waking up the morning of the quarterfinals and saying, yeah, we got four quarterfinal games. Oh, sorry, we've only got two quarterfinal games. He because... clearly felt that would be a bigger disaster yeah. than doing it and at, I think at this right. point in time. His other words he kept saying were, give us a month. Give us a month to figure this out. The same thing he said with the women's U18s. And we'll try to find a way to get this tournament in. Is it feasible to have a World Juniors with a bunch of players that are going to the NHL in, in June or July? Where there's a will, there's a way. You, you never say never. It won't be easy. Um, but if Hockey Canada is fully committed to do it, and they want to take a little bit of a deep breath right now and, and get their bearings, um, this tournament means a lot from a financial point of view. And I know one wants to talk about the finances too, but I understand why, but the reality is there are three big tournaments on the International Ice Hockey Federation calendar that fund the IIHF, and it's the Olympics, and it's the World Championship, and it's the World Junior Championship. And the World Juniors are number three, a distant number three in that, but it means a lot to get it done. And plus, people want it, you know, the players, for, for players, for development, for fans, everybody wants to make it happen. So they're going to try to make it happen. Whether they can or not, it still remains to be seen. Uh, we feel for everybody who loves watching this. It's become a Canadian holiday tradition. But most of all, we feel for these players, particularly the 19-year-olds from Canada, from Germany, from Austria, from Russia, from all of these nations, who, if this doesn't happen again in the summer, that this was their only crack at a tournament that they dreamt about most of their hockey lives. I feel terrible for all these kids uh, that are playing in this tournament. I feel terrible for all the Hockey Canada event people that work so hard to put it on, the IIHF people, the, the, the volunteers. 
volunteers, the, the van drivers that bring us over here every day, feel terrible for absolutely all of them, just as I feel terrible for the under-18 Women's World participants who had their tournament cancelled. Uh, hopefully they'll get that back on the rails. I feel terrible for all those lower-level tournaments amongst the six that were cancelled by the IIHF. But, and, you know, I'm from Ontario, as you are, James, in, in Ontario last in this past year or two. I mean, I feel terrible for the Ontario Hockey League. They didn't play at all last year. The boys and girls in minor hockey didn't have any semblance of a hockey season a, a year ago. Um, it's catastrophic in terms of the mental and physical well-being and, and what that means to the communities and families and everything else. So I feel terrible about all of that. But what's happened here with the World Junior Championship being cancelled is nothing more than a microcosm of what society is going through with this entire Omicron variant. And that is trying to find a way and, and trying to figure out what the protocols are. Do you know if your kid's going to school next week? Um, whatever event they participate in, there are so many things is it going to be locked down? Is it not going to be locked down? And there's such extreme viewpoints on lock everything down to to this is nothing. It's just the sniffles. Let them all play and don't test anybody. There's got to be a middle ground, but it's hard to nail down the middle ground because the target keeps moving because Omicron keeps bouncing all over the place. It's it's there's no easy answers here, but it's a societal problem. It's not a World Junior or Double IHF problem. It's depressing. Uh, we too, we usually take this tournament to give people something uplifting over the holidays. Uh, this is just depressing. Also feel for the four players who are still going to be stuck here. And Mark Masters uh, in Edmonton hotel rooms. Uh, we'd like to sign off in the World Juniors by handing out gold medals and hearing an anthem, but uh, unfortunately, it ends early this year.